the Paladin, symbol of noble causes and heroic feats, fierce defender of the realm, stands vigilant on Furman University campus, a monument to athletic prowess and fair play. Rising high on a beveled granite pedestal, this bronze knight in battle armor mounted on his steed provides fair warning to all who would come and offer challenge. The Paladin is the sculptural focus of the newly designed and landscaped Paladin Plaza at the entrance of Paladin Stadium. How this monumental work of art came to be is a testament to the philanthropy of one man and the artistry of another. A major bronze sculpture usually takes between 12 and 18 months to complete from initial sketches to installation. For the Paladin project, extensive research was required. The dramatic pose of the horse was the first challenge. Working from photos and live horses, sculptor John Hare captured the powerful anatomy of a rearing horse. He then turned his attention to the knight. To ensure historical accuracy of the knight's armor, dressing, and weaponry, Hare traveled to Hollywood to work with celebrated armor maker Tony Swatton. There, a suit of armor built by Swatton was used for reference. From photos of a model wearing this armor, Hare created a quarter-scale clay sculpture, or maquette, of the paladin on his warhorse. With the support and approval of the paladin committee, Hare then used the maquette as a guide in the enlargement process sculpting in clay a life and a third size version of the model. Each piece of armor, from the knight's breastplate, helmet, and lance, to the horse's bridle, is accurate to the last rivet and buckle. Then a negative rubber mold was made of the sculpture, capturing its rich detail. The molds were later shipped to a foundry in Oregon for bronze casting. There, the sculpture that began as sketches 12 months before took its final form, undergoing a series of finishing processes known as the centuries-old lost wax method, including wax casting, ceramic shell, bronze casting, and chasing. Then, its surface was polished to a high sheen. Chemicals were applied as the surface was heated to achieve a unique iridescent patina. Finally, the sculpture was sealed with a high-tech coating that is used on the space shuttle. In its way, the finished piece represents a fusion of ancient and modern technology. Though completed, this major work of art was still 2,000 miles from its final birth. Anchored to a flatbed trailer and wrapped in protective covering, the Paladin traveled cross-country by truck. An oversized load, it was only allowed to travel in daylight hours with special permits and a flag car. After five days, the small caravan reached Greenville for installation. The Paladin is a major work of art in the classic European tradition. Rich in detail, it is a landmark sculpture destined to become one of the most recognized symbols of Furman University. The 15-foot bronze sculpture is a gift to the university from Irwin and Carol Belk, Mr. Belk is a former North Carolina legislator and son of William Henry Belk, the founder of Belk Department Store. The university is also the beneficiary of the artistic gifts of John Hare. With the Paladin and other major works, Hare is leaving his mark on the American cultural scene, helping to bring representational sculpture back to a position of prominence. A resident of Cornelius, North Carolina, Hare was recently commissioned by the U.S. Olympic Committee to create Olympic Strength, a 30-foot sculpture grouping for the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. He is also at work on a 22-foot historic sculpture of Captain Christopher Newport for the city of Newport News. It's to be installed in 2004 in advance of the 400th anniversary of the founding of Jamestown. Hare's work appears in private and corporate collections and fine art galleries from Miami to San Francisco. His sculptures can also be seen on a growing number of corporate and university campuses that now includes Furman University, home of the Paladin.